Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Web Ruth's Random Creativity. I'm Ruth and if it's your first time watching my videos, welcome, a special welcome to you. Today I'd like to share with you how I made this orange slice bowl. I call it fizzy orange because it's got some bubbles and some um, character to it and I was really pleased with how it turned out. I did dry my own slices for this but it was such a pain, next time I will just buy dried fruit to uh, make any more that I do. So I've made this into a bowl. I thought it could go on a dining table as a talking piece or perhaps in the kitchen. But someone, my friend pointed out it would look really nice up against a wall. So I might look into that as well and get some fixings for the wall and maybe have th a set of three to hang together. So that's some ideas. That's what this video is. Um, do have a watch and enjoy, but it's the same pr process. I've also, I will be putting up a video of this bowl. This is leaves. Same process, I have already got a video with some other leaves that I've done into a bowl and this is a bowl made out of rose petals. Hopefully you can see that all right and again same process and uh, I love them. The resin really brings out the beauty of the nature that they're made from. So I hope you enjoy watching, do click the like button, subscribe, it really helps me out, gets my videos out to more people and uh, hopefully you're inspired to do your own craft. Take care, thanks for watching. I started by choosing which orange slices I wanted to use and then I laid them out in a plan before I put them into the resin so I knew the pattern and which slices would go where. You don't need very much resin and I did tint the resin, you can see slightly orange because I was worried that over time the resin might yellow and spoil the piece. So a very, very slight tint of orange just to avoid that. I use a plate, it makes it very easy to coat the slices. You need to make sure that they're completely coated in resin and then I put them on the lip of the, of the plate to drain the resin because you don't need very much at all. So while I'm coating the rest of the slices, the resin is running off those on the lip so that when I come to use them, they'll have the right amount of resin on them. The other reason for using a plate is that the resin doesn't cure so quickly because it's spread out over a wider space. So you can see just making sure there's lots of resin on each slice. And in a moment, you'll see me begin to create the pattern. Just taking off any excess resin that I don't need. That's my centerpiece. And you need to choose which side up to use the slices as well. That one's quite a distorted piece, that second piece that I put down. And you can see me trying to flatten it and later on you'll see how I resolve that. But that's fine, you can still use them. I'm trying to use the sides that have less peel showing because I think that looks nicer. But that's just a personal preference. It is fiddly, it is a bit time consuming, but it is lots of fun to create these fruit bowls or leaf petal bowls, flower petal bowls. I love them. I'm thinking of buying some dried strawberry slices next and maybe making a little bowl out of those because I thought they would make a very pretty pattern. And as long as they're touching, it doesn't matter, they don't have to overlap like the petals or the leaves. I've just laid them side by side. And then continue with the next row. And you can see I've got hardly any resin in the plate and I don't, I'm not using much at all. I find it easy to use uh, tweezers rather than fingers. Fingers just get all caught up in the resin. So 
I've got a plastic, it's actually a painting tool that I got from The Works, which is a craft shop in the UK. And they are brilliant, brilliant for resin. few more slices to coat and then I'll be ready to start placing them and don't forget to place the first piece of res sorry first piece of orange that you coated in resin first because that will have been sitting there with the excess running off it for the longest and then I'm just wiping any excess off as well with the tool And if you pre-planned where your slices are going to go, that saves you any hassles or problems at this stage because you know they're all going to fit in the right places if you have a few that are odd shaped. And just doing the last few, so you can see I've, I've not got much resin left, but just enough scraping it off the plate. making sure not just the center of the orange is coated in resin, but the edges as well. And there is no way to, oh, I don't know of a way to judge how much resin you need. I just literally eyeballed this and thankfully had just enough. I was a bit worried that I might run out, but I managed to have enough between the slices. And the more you do this, the more you'll know how much you need. You get, you get to know how much it will look like that you need. I'm sorry this bit's off camera. I didn't realise the whole plate wasn't showing. I've given up on the tweezers at this point. I don't know why, I probably just put them down and forgot to pick them up. And you don't want too much resin on it because otherwise that will pool underneath and give an uneven bowl. adjusting them to make sure they're all where I want them to be and that you do want them touching but you don't want them overlapping. Originally I was just going to leave them like this to dry then I realized that I needed to weight them down so they were flat so what I did was I poured some more resin that was slightly tinted with orange in between the slices put another piece of plastic on top and then put a heavy book on and you can see it's flattened all those misshapen slices the top layer came off really well. The bottom layer didn't come off well at all. So that's why I stopped because I didn't want to pull out segments from the center of the orange. Here, I'm molding it into the shape I want. And you can choose whatever bowl. 
and just weight that down until it's completely dry and hard and there you have your orange resin bowl hope you enjoyed what enjoyed watching do click the like button and subscribe to see more of my videos thanks